Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a static grass applicator. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it really cheap and make one a lot stronger than what you normally would buy from uh, like Woodland Scenics or somewhere like that. And this one's a little bit dangerous though guys, so be careful when you make one of these. What you will need, oh, these things run anywhere from $100 to about $300 according to how good a one you get. So it's much, it's to your benefit to make your own. What you will need is a piece of PVC pipe, about this size, I think it's two inch, one and a three quarters or two inch PVC pipe. Cut a slit in it here and flat and heat it up and flatten it out. Then take you an old bowl, just a small bowl with a screw on top lid. Cut out, cut part of the bowl out, of the lid out. Get you a piece of screen mesh. You're gonna need a pretty good size screen mesh. Glue it in there. Let me take this off now. Then drill a hole through it and bolt it with a bolt and a big washer to the bowl and to the PVC, piece of PVC pipe. I split my piece of PVC pipe right down the side here. Uh, that way I can put my guts in it. And what you will need is a, uh, a 2S LiPo. You will need a cheap stun gun or taser from like the flea market for like five dollars. And once you have this made, your your shell, you take the stun gun, you tear it apart. There'll be two ends at the front of the. Mine was a little look like a cell phone, but it, it had two little ends on the front like that that put a spark between them when you mash the button. So I just tore it apart, took all the guts, put them in here. This is actually the button off the phone and the switch don't work and the little light comes on to let you know when uh, you're using it. All that was in the cell phone stun gun. Now there'll be two ends on the cell phone stun gun that throw a spark between them. When you tear it apart you take those two ends and you separate them. You cut those little metal ends off and you got two wires then. You take one wire after you put the guts in here, you, t you, you hook your battery to it, then you take the one wire that went to that sparking thing, you run it up to this bolt right here. Then you take the other wire to the sparking thing, and you just hook another long wire to it, put an alligator clip on the end of it. That way you can hook the alligator clip to your model, fill this up with grass, the, the static grass, and as you shake it, it goes through the screen and when you've got the button mashed, it puts an electric field between these two, between this bolt and this thing here. And that static field makes the grass stand up straight, so when it falls down and hits the glue, it stands up straight. Now I'm going to show you, my battery's a little bit down, but I can show you how it uh, works and sparks here. Like I say, my battery's a little bit down, but it does work pretty good. Alright guys, it's pretty simple, and I hope you enjoyed something and learned something today, and that might save you one to two, maybe even three hundred dollars, because uh, according to how powerful a stun gun you get as to how powerful your thing will be, and I promise you it'll be a lot stronger than anything you buy from one of those Woodland Scenic stores or somewhere like at a hobby store. Y'all guys have a great day.